Could be the last. Off go the blind fellas and the Japanese mare, Airthul, jumped off really fast on the near side. Mal Hoops right up with the leaders and Mount Abu on the outside as they come through the first furlong. Invincible Spirit is tracking the leaders, but Airthul is up with them with Mal Hoop, Frenchman's Bay, and then Invincible Spirit. And on the near side, three points as they come through the four furlong marker. And Airthul just in the lead from three points on the near side. Then Mal Hoop comes next, Invincible Spirit, Mayball, and Twilight Blues are tracking the leaders, along with Mount Abu on the stream right of picture. Danehurst has a lot to do as they come now to the two furlong marker. And st still just in the lead, Airthul with Malhoop now taking it up from three points. Malhoop three points and Airthul, then Invincible Spirit trying to get there, then Twilight Blues. But Malhoop and Richard Hills have the lead as they come inside the final fellow from three points. Continent is finishing very fast on the near side, and Invincible Spirit's trying to get to them as well. Malhoop and Richard Hills from Invincible Spirit on the far side. This is going to be very close indeed. Invincible Spirit and Malhoop, nothing but between them, photo third as well, between on the far side, Mayball, Oriental, and three points. Continent's run came to an end at the finish, but that is very tight indeed. It's a photo between Invincible Spirit, number four, and Malhoob, number five on the card, and a three-way photo for third place as well. It'll be very interesting to see the creep as they come up towards the line. And it definitely looked from where we were as if Invincible Spirit just got there. And it certainly looks like it there as well. But you've always got a chance on the near side, don't forget. And it looks as if three points possibly on the near side has just edged out Mayball on the far side. Oriental between the two. Continent, who looked dangerous for a moment, is next. And then comes Twilight Blues and Bahamian Parrot over on the far side, then Mount Abu, who faded, and then Nair, and who never got into it at all, and the Japanese filly, Air Thule, who made a lot of the running, then Frenchman's Bay showed very early, and then Lancio, who ran no sort of a race, and Dane Hurst, who was always well behind. Well, we're still waiting on the official result. A photo between four Invincible Spirit and five Malhoob.